we are given a striking image today. Moses is praying for his people, his hands held up to plead for them. But he gets tired. And it gets harder and harder to, to keep his arms raised up. And, and seeing this, Aaron and her run to his side. They stand on either side of him. And they take his arms up and help hold them up for him. It's such a beautiful image for me, that kind of loving support. My question, who does that for you? Who prays for you? Who believes in you? Who cares about how you are? Everyone has times when our arms grow weary, right? Our heart gets heavy. Our way gets lonely. Everyone has times when we need someone to lift our spirits, to help sustain us on the way. The question again, who does that for you? You know, often enough here, we focus on our responsibility to help others, especially those who struggle. Rightly so. I mean, it's what Christ did. It's what Christ counts on us to do. It's crucial that we're people who do that. But today, it seems good to stop and think of those who do that for us. The people who believe in us, who care for us, who lift us up. You know, some hold us up in prayer. Others support us practically, for, you know, by everything from making our lunches at school, or taking the time to show us the ropes when we're new at work. I mean, I think about it for a bit maybe, huh? There are those amazing folks who stay by our bedside when we're sick. Those who believe in us, even when it's hard for us to believe in ourselves. Some encourage us through the kindness in their eyes. Some pray for us when we cannot ourselves pray. Many we know personally. Some inspire us from afar. Years ago, Bette Midler sang of the gift of that beautiful support in a song that many will know. Shortly after the attacks of 9-11, she sang the song, Wind Beneath My Wings, at a national memorial service at Yankee Stadium to honor those who died. As I watched, I joined the tens of thousands who were also crying. When the song first came out, a number of people used it at memorial tributes for loved ones who, loved ones who had died because it, it captured something for them of the blessing of those who love us and who support us in many ways, you know, often behind the scenes. It's, it's good to remember them. Good to stop from time to time to think about those who, however we would describe it, are are somehow the wind beneath our wings. Let's take a moment to do that now. As we listen to a little bit of the song, does anyone come to mind for you? Who do you find yourself thinking of? It might have appeared to go unnoticed, but I
sometimes it's obvious that we have that kind of support. You know, you've got a sick child and mom comes to stay with you for a few days. Dad or someone puts a little extra money in an envelope and hands it to you as you're walking out the door. A friend calls just because they, they know that you're struggling in here some way. Five-year-old Claire sure sees it. She told me, my mommy loves me more than anybody. You don't see anyone else kissing me to sleep at night. Of course, it would be unrealistic for any of us to expect to always have people in our ears telling us how much they care, you know, to always be there telling us that they believe in us and have our backs. But we all do have people who truly do care that we exist, who do care for us. Some of them live on earth. Some of them live in a life beyond what we can see. And sometimes we forget that they're there. That there are those people who do care. So we do well to call them to mind, to learn to savor the gift that they are. I think that the more we think about those who love us behind the scenes, the more we will learn to trust that support, even when we don't see someone right there in the moment. Moses had Aaron and her who literally held his arms up in support. I mean, I'm sure he had others who supported him in other ways as well. Well, how about you? Who has been the wind beneath your wings? Who cares for and believes in you? Let's take a moment now to remember them and to honor them in our hearts. In my